What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I'm bringing you my live full reactions to the 2020 WWE Slammy Awards. We haven't had Slammy Awards since 2015, they are finally back this year. I'm currently watching the pre-show, it ends in 7 minutes. The first Slammy Award of the night has gone to Drew Gulak for the cleverest 24-7 pin when he dressed up as one of the members of the cleaning staff uh, and uh, our truth has thinks that he has won, he's run off. But this is it for the kickoff show. Uh, let's get right on to the main Slammy Awards show. I can't wait. Let's get right into it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, kicking it off with Superstar of the Year. Who is it going to be? Drew, Roman, Braun. There's loads. It's Drew. Drew McIntyre. My prediction, of course, it had to have been Drew McIntyre. Was there any other doubt? Won the Royal Rumble. Beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. Here he is, the man himself, Drew McIntyre, is the 2020 WWE Superstar of the Year. Congratulations. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Snooki presenting Ring Gear of the Year. I'm going with Seth Rollins for this one. Let's see who's got the best ring gear of 2020. Who's it going to be? I think it's Rollins. It has to be Rollins, surely. The white gear at Mania. The New Day. No, it's not Seth Rollins, but the New Day win the ring gear of the year. To be fair, the Gears of War gear that they wore was amazing. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Ring gear of the year goes to the New Day. Let's move on. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for return of the year. Presented to us by the hardcore legend, Mick Foley, this has to be Edge. If it's not Edge, I will jump off of a roof. Who's it going to be? Edge! Edge has returned of the year. Yes! Yes! Called it. Had to be Edge. Uh, I wouldn't have jumped off a roof even if it wasn't, guys, just to make that clear. Uh, but Edge wins return of the year. No doubt in my mind at all. It had to be. Nine years out. Finally returns at the Rumble. Will he return again at the Rumble in 2021? We'll just have to wait and see. But either way, on to the next award. WWE Musical Performance of the Year goes to Elias. Was there ever any doubt? I think that's been the only musical performance this year. With Amen, uh, I'm Going In, which is a great song. If you have Spotify, go check it out. Uh, it's, on it's on Elias' is one and only debut album. Elias wins WWE Musical Performance of the Year 2020. And here we go. Rivalry of the Year, presented to us by Demi Brunette. I think that it is Edge versus Orton. Or Seth versus the Mysterio family. No, Edge versus Orton. Who's it going to be? Drum roll, please. Edge versus Orton. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I predicted it. Randy Orton and Edge win Rivalry of the Year 2020. I can't wait to see these two pick up where they left off when Edge finally comes back. Let's move on to the next award. Trish Stratus presenting Female Superstar of the Year. I am going with Bailey or Asuka. Who's it going to be? There's been a lot of candidates for this one. A lot of great candidates. Here we go. Asuka or Becky Lynch are my picks. Not Becky Lynch, sorry. Bailey. Oh, wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Sasha Banks. Female Superstar of the Year. Was not expecting that one. Was thinking Bailey or Asuka. Asuka winning the money in the bank. Winning the Raw Women's Championship. Bailey being the longest reigning SmackDown Tag Team Champion. Uh, SmackDown Women's. And winning the Women's Tag Team Championships with Sasha Banks. But Sasha Banks picks up Female Superstar of the Year 2020. Cool. Breakout Star of the Year. I think it's either Murphy or Dominic Mysterio. Who is it going to be? We will find out very, very shortly. Can we get a drum roll? No. Okay, never mind. It was the Street Profits. Um, I personally don't agree with this one. It's Breakout Star, meaning one. Um, the Street Profits are a tag team. Don't get me wrong, they've had an amazing year. Uh, been tag team champions since March. But... <laughs> 
surely that would mean they qualify for tag team of the year. No, not breakout star of the year. Anyway, let's move on. Social media superstar of the year is... Come on. Bailey. Bailey finally picks up a Slammy Award this year. Social media superstar of the year. Trash talker of the year. Apparently we have a tie. The female trash talker of the year. Lacey Evans, female trash talker of the year. We haven't seen much of her, to be honest, this year. Um, thought we would be seeing more of her. I thought at some point this year she would pick up the SmackDown Women's Championship, but no. Uh, and who's the next? The entire Hurt Business wins the trash talker of the year. The Hurt Business, arguably the best thing on Raw, the best Faction on Raw, MVP, Cedric Alexander, Shelton Benjamin and Bobby Lashley, Trash Talker of the Year. Nice one. Here we go, WWE Network Documentary of the Year. I have to say, it's the WrestleMania 36 WWE 24 because I am in it. That is why I'm going with that one. A great documentary, features me at the end. What's it going to be? No, it's The Last Ride, which I can't complain about at all. Guys, the Last Ride, if you haven't watched it, the best thing to come out of WWE Network in years. The Undertaker's Last Ride takes you from 2017 to now. Uh, obviously, it would have been cool to see the WWE 24 because I'm in it, but no, The Last Ride 100% deserves to win this. If you haven't seen it, for whatever reason, if you've been living under a rock and you haven't seen The Last Ride, go to the WWE Network right now and watch it from start to finish. The Last Ride wins Network Documentary of the Year. And celebrity appearance of the year goes to Rob Gronkowski, Gronk, former WWE 24-7 champion, host of WrestleMania 36. Well done to Gronk. Double cross of the year. Who's this award going to go to? Bailey again with a second one. Double cross of the year goes to Bailey attacking Sasha Banks. I can't complain with that one. The only thing is we all saw it coming. I personally would have gone with Randy Orton attacking Edge. But, you know, double cross of the year goes to Bailey. Referee of the year. Who's this going to go to? I think it belongs to either John Cone or Charles Robinson. Uh, which one's it going to be? John Cone's already here celebrating. He hasn't even won yet. Uh, this is the dad of Nicholas, former WWE Royal Tag Team Champion Nicholas. Has he won? Charles Robinson wins. Lil Nate wins Referee of the Year. He was refereeing the best match ever, the greatest wrestling match ever, Randy Orton versus Edge. John Cone is absolutely fuming. He didn't win Referee of the Year. That award goes to Charles Robinson. Robinson. Ken Jong presenting moments of the year. Now Edge is up here with the return. Drew's up here with the title win. But in my mind, it's The Undertaker's farewell. Am I correct? There has been so many moments this year. Becky Lynch's pregnancy. There, there's too many to pick from. Who has won moment of the year 2020? We will find out very shortly. Here we go. The Undertaker's final farewell. We can't argue with that one. Undertaker retiring. Uh, you can check out my reaction if you want. Um, it's very, very upsetting. It's not. Uh, I, I, I dealt with it. I dealt with it very well. Inside, I was in bits. But, you know, Undertaker wins moment of the year with the final farewell. Tag team of the year coming up. It can only be one team in my mind. The Street Profits. Who's it going to be? Come on, dude. <laughs> Let's get into this. Who's it going to be? Miz and Morrison, surprisingly, not on this list. Rude and Ziggler, not on this list. Tag Team of the Year, the Street Profits. Yes! Street Profits, see, I knew they would win Tag Team of the Year, still confused as to why they won Breakout Star of the Year, but the Street Profits are the 2020 Tag Team of the Year, and they want the smoke. Match of the Year 2020, in my voting video, I went with the 2020 Royal Rumble. There's so many great matches that have happened this year. Am I right? I put it mainly down because it's the only one with a crowd, but we will see. 
2020 match of the year could be Ed Jordan, could be Drew Roman, could be Brock Roman. We just don't know. But I'm going with the Rumble. No, it was the Boneyard match. Fair play. Undertaker versus AJ Styles. The Undertaker's final WWE wrestling match. Burying AJ Styles alive in the Boneyard. Fantastic. Match of the year 2020. Congratulations to The Undertaker and AJ Styles. Here we go. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Woo! representing the overall superstar of the year. We've got male superstar, female superstar. This is overall. Who is it going to be? I think it's going to be Drew. Overall superstar of the year is... Yes! Drew McIntyre wins Male Superstar of the Year and Overall Superstar of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the final Slammy in the Slammy Awards. Thank you very much for watching my reaction video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a like, comment and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.